Good morning. Welcome to Large Group. My name is Beaker. Hey, and we're in the science lab. You know what? You know what we do in the science lab? We bust fears. Hey, I know. Would any of you like to be a fear buster? Great job. There's a Bible verse in Psalms and it says, I prayed to the Lord and He answered me and He freed me from all my fears. How about that? <gasps> hey, why don't we stand and let's sing a song. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. We're not scared. us free from all our fears. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. Hey, wow, that was great singing. Hey, you know what? We have some monster friends. Would you like to meet our monster friends? Great! Hey, this is Mimi, and then there's Momo, and then there's Bebo, and then Zingo. How about that? You know what? Sometimes they get scared, and sometimes we have to bust their fears. Mm, we should probably go over the rules, though, for the science lab. So rule number one, is you have to be kind, and we have to be kind by using our quiet lips. And we do not want to disturb our pet snake. His name is Buster. He's in the aquarium. Rule number two is we have to stay seated. Very nice, and clap, clap, clap. Hands in your lap. Perfect job. Hey, let's look at our monster meter and see what's going on. If the monster meter is green, that means everybody's happy. If the monster meter is red, it means that someone is scared. Oh, look, is everybody's monster meter green? Oh no, you're right. Bebo, he's very scared. His monster meter is red. You know what? I think there's somebody who can help us. What is his name again? Oh yeah, Agent Lou True. Hey, on the count of three, let's call Agent True. One, two, three. Agent True, Agent True. Hey there, Fear Buster friends. I'm Agent Lou True, ready to bust some monster fears with God's Word. Fear Busters, do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! Right, a Rooney! Hey, I think I hear something over here. Agent True, is that you? Oh, look, it's Bebo Monster. Are you okay, Bebo? No, Agent True, I'm really scared. Why are you so scared? We just moved to a new house. I don't know any of the other monsters on my new street. And I'm scared to go outside and play. What if I don't make any friends? I really need friends, Agent True. Oh, Bebo, I'm sorry you were scared. Feeling alone can be scary but I want to help you bust that fear. We can do that with a story from God's Word. Bebo, would you like to hear a story from God's Word? That would be roaresome. We monsters love to hear stories from God's Word. Fear Busters, 
Do you like to hear stories from God's Word too? Yes! Great! Then let's all put on our gazing goggles. Zoop, zoop! One day, the stream near where Elijah lived dried up. Elijah had no water and no food. God knew Elijah needed food and water. So God told Elijah to walk to a new town and a woman there would have food. When Elijah got to this new town, he saw a woman there picking up sticks. Beer busters, let's all pretend to pick up sticks like the woman. Pick them up, pick them up, and stop. That was great. Let's get back to the story. Elijah asked the woman if she had any bread. The woman told Elijah she only had enough ingredients to make one last tiny bit of bread for her and her son. Oh no! Elijah is so hungry! What's he going to do? Don't be scared, Bebo. Let's see how God gives them just what they need. Elijah told the woman not to be scared because God had promised that there would be enough bread to feed them all. Wow! That's so great! God promised to give them just what they needed. You got it, Bebo. So the woman used her last bit of flour and oil to bake bread for Elijah. When the bread was done, the woman looked into her flour jar and there was more flour. Then she peeked into her oil jar and there was more oil. God gave Elijah the food he needed and he also gave the woman the ingredients she needed. God will give you what you need too. I have a friend I want you to meet, Bebo. Bebo, I want you to meet my friend Momo. Momo lives right beside you. Hi, Bebo. I heard you were feeling scared of being alone. I know how you feel. I was really scared of meeting new people, but God helped me bust my fear. It is roaresome to meet you, Momo. This is so cool! I needed a new friend, and God gave me just what I needed. Fear Busters, God gave Bebo just what he needed. And you can be sure that when you are scared, God will give you what you need too. Let's all say that together. When I'm scared, When I'm scared, God gives me, God gives me, what I need. What I need. That's it! Well, it looks as though my work here is done. Fear Buster Agent Lou True, over and out. Wow, what a great Bible story. You know what? I know you noticed my box of goldfish. Well, I have a box of goldfish just in case I need a snack. I mean, you never know when a monster's gonna get hungry and they might need a snack. Hey, let's look at the monster meter and see if everybody's happy. Oh, great! Yes, all the monster meters are green. How about that? Hey, you know what? Why don't we stand and sing a song? <laughs>
Well, that was great singing. Hey, can you remember what the special words are for today? Oh yeah, when I am scared, God gives me what I need. Very good. Hey, are you ready for our experiment today? All right. So I have the solution in a test tube. I don't know what it is, but it's clear. So I have a question. Was Bebo Monster, was he scared of the phone or was he scared of being alone? Oh, you're right. He was scared of being alone. All right. And then I have a balloon. Hmm, a liquid and a balloon. All right, are you feeling smart? Here's another question. Did we learn that God would give us what we need? If you think so, shake your heads like this. Oh yeah, he will. All right, so by my calculations, this liquid and this balloon, if I put this balloon on this liquid, I think that it's going to expand. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it on there. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't really know. I have not tried this before. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my, can you see it? It's kind of going up. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on in this test tube. Look at that. Do you see there's kind of some air in there? Let's see what else. Oh, uh-oh. Going down. Going down. Good thing I have this beaker. Look at that. So you know what? That means that our fear was busted. We don't have to be afraid. God will always give us what we need. Look at that. So I have a confession for you. Wipe off my hands. I didn't really have this box of goldfish because I thought I might need a snack. I had this box of goldfish because there was only a few left in here and I really wanted it and I thought my brother might steal my snack and so I've been carrying the box of goldfish all day. But you know what? I just found out from our Bible story that God gives us what I need. And if my brother has my goldfish because he's hungry, then that's okay. God's going to provide another snack for me. So our fear has been busted and I don't have to be fearful that I'm not going to have a snack today. So let's put my box of goldfish in our fear buster box. Does anyone else have any fears that they want to throw in the box? On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. So you know what that means? Our fear has been busted. All right, are you ready to say prayers? Perfect. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them, put them in your lap. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for our Bible story. Thank you for giving me what I need. In Jesus' name, amen. Fear busted.